stuck in my head. I'm a man now. I keep the law just like I said. I'm a man now. I ain't no zombie walking dead. I'm a man now. I told life like Moses said. I'm a man now. I got the law locked in my head. I'm a man now. I keep the law just like I said. I'm a man now. Ain't no zombie walking dead. I'm a man now. I told life like Moses said. I'm a man now. I'm a man now. It's too no words and hands down. I talk the talk, I walk the walk, I don't just stand around. I make things happen cause I keep God first. You think your job is some teach me about with hard work. I'm a Israelite, that's right, I bring the truth out. Don't number y'all's laws come out this Hebrew's mouth. No lie, I'ma die for the most high. And prophesy you how it shines, then so by. You just won't repent the sins, you wanna know why? The most high Lord, got the power to Lord, make the soul cry. Why you riding around town like the soul That's fly? Right. Or what the spirit's going down, you better choose your side. Wake up, you're just like, wake up. My people follow oh, this God, one I commandment in the Bible. It would eliminate black on black crust. It would eliminate drug dealers. I got the law locked in my head. I'm a man now. I keep the law just like I said. I'm a man now. I ain't no zombie walking dead. I'm a man now. I told life like Moses said. I'm a man now. I got the law locked in my head. I'm a man now. I keep the law just like I said. I'm a man now. I ain't no zombie walking dead. I'm a man now. Christmas. You ever read about Christmas in the Bible? You ain't never read that Christ before on December 25th? You ain't never seen nothing in there? Right, guess what? It ain't in there. Thanksgiving. You ever seen it in there? Not in there. Martin Luther King Day. You think it's in there? No. Those are the doctrines and commandments of men. But guess what? He taught us those. He taught us the doctrines and commandments of men. But I'm going to show you what God told us to teach. Give me a seat. That's why I had to stop you, brother, because I see you had a little common sense, right? But now I'm giving you everything that you need to arm yourself, all right? So when you go back into the world, you have a little bit of understanding. Lord willing, you take, did you get him a fly here? All right, I want you to get that fly. We have online classes. We have online classes seven days a week, three times a day, all right? I want you to go along with that whenever you feel like it. Read it there, yeah? Ezekiel, chapter three, verses 11. Uh -huh. And go, uh -huh. get thee to them of the captivity. Go get yeah. them of the what? The captivity. So we are supposed to go to you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because you are the children of the forefathers that went through the captivity. All right? Because we were brought here on slave ships for a reason. So in Deuteronomy 28, when we read it, it will be a sign and a wonder for us. So we understand who we are. That's why it makes sense to you, right? It ain't, it ain't no question or that ain't making no sense. No, yeah, my ancestors were brought on slave ship. Those are my people. We were taught by oppressors. Until the children of thy people uh -huh. and speak unto them. And do what? And speak unto them. Sing gospel songs. And speak unto them. We're supposed to be speaking the Bible. Read. And tell them, uh -huh. thus saith the Lord and God. And we're supposed to tell you, thus saith the Lord. Malachi 2 and 7. Malachi 2 and 7. What are those words that we're telling you? Because guess what? Even the Christian path, he used a few scriptures, right? But I'm going to show you the scriptures that he ain't told. Malachi 2. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. Uh -huh. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The priests are your modern day pastors and preachers, apostles, whatever you want to call them. Read. And they should seek the law. They should do what? Seek the law. You should be seeking the law. Read. And his mouth. At his mouth. Now, you said you never seen these before, right? Give me number 15 and 38. Because they're not teaching you guys law. This is God's law. Somebody that didn't keep these, the reason why we have these is because somebody did not keep God's law. Because they were working on the Sabbath day, the most I said, put fringes on. I'm going to read this. Number, chapter 15, verse 38. Uh -huh. Speak. Unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel. And bid them. And bid them. Tell them. That they make them fringes uh -huh. in the borders of their garments. Uh -huh. Throughout their generation. Throughout their generation. How long do you think that means? Throughout. Forever, right? Throughout. All praise. Three. And that they put upon the fringe. And you put upon the fringe. Of the borders. A ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. See that? Give me Romans 2 and 13. Why do we do that? Why do we do exactly what the Bible says? 
Alright? It's not just us. People all over this world are waking up to their true nationality. Alright? So don't think it's just three people standing on the side of the road uh, yelling. Alright? Romans chapter 2, verses 13. For uh -huh. not the hearers of the law are just before God. So not the hearers of the law. The hearers are not going to be just before God. Meaning receive the king. But the doer. But the what? The doer. But the doer of the law shall be justified. But the doers of the law are going to be justified. Meaning the people that do these commands. That's that right. That apply these in their daily life. Those are the people that are going to get the kingdom of heaven. Give me Revelation 14 and 12. Alright, we're going to stay on that. Revelation chapter 14 verse 12. Uh -huh. Here is the patience of the saints. So here is the patience of the saints. Who do you think the saints are? Right? I'm going to show you the saints. Give me Psalms 15.5. What if I told you that you're a saint of God? Would you believe me? You never looked at yourself like that before, right? You never thought. Why? Because you thought Jesus was a white man and that you are nothing. But according to the Bible, we are the saints of God. That's right. Give me that. So, chapter 50, verses 5. Uh -huh. Gather my saints together. Gather my saints together. Unto me. Uh -huh. Those that have made a covenant. Those that have made what? A covenant. Those that have made an agreement. A covenant. A contract. With me. Uh -huh. By sacrifice. Let me see how much you know about the Bible. Who made a covenant with God through sacrifice? Do you know by any chance? You know who made a covenant with God? Uh, the children of Israel. The children of Israel. All praises. The children of Israel are referred to in the Bible as God's saints. So when it says gather my saints together, it's talking about the nation of Israel. That's why we go out here and teach our people. That's why God said go into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. Why? Because we would be scattered. Is that just a group of people in one place? No, we all over. So that's why we got to go to the streets and teach our people who they are. Because we're the only people on the earth that go by a color in a crayon box. I'm a black man. What? What is that? I'm a West Indian. What is that? Haitian. That means hell. Puerto Rican. That means rich Porter. We have all these names that have nothing to do with our heritage. That's right. We know nothing about ourselves from before 1492. And now the worst thing that could ever happen to us is coming up. Black history book. Now people think they're about to learn that history. They're about to learn what they did since they've been over here in slavery. And as, as uh, what our deacons say, we've been created in America. They're going to learn what the manufactured Negro has done in America. So what about before? Let me show you what happened before. That. Give me first key 429. I'm going to show you one of our forefathers. True black history in the Bible. I'm going to show you the type of things that we did. First King, chapter 4, verse 29. This is one of your forefathers. He came from the same tribe as you. And God gave Solomon. Who? Solomon. King Solomon was in Judah. Read. Wisdom and understanding. Uh -huh. Exceeding much. Mm -hmm. And largeness of heart. Uh -huh. Even as the sand that is on the seashore. Uh -huh. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the East Country. Read that again. And Solomon's wisdom. Solomon's wisdom. Your forefather. Read. Excel the wisdom. His wisdom. Excel. Read. Of all the children of the East Country. All the children of the East Country. And all the wisdom of Egypt. All the wisdom of who? Egypt. Immortal. Egypt. He was wiser than all the people of that land that we esteem high today. All right. And that's your forefather. Read. For he was wiser than all men. Uh-huh. Read that again. He was wiser than what? For he was wiser than all men. Solomon, our forefather, this is true black history. He was wiser than all men. But have they ever taught you that before? No. No. They're not going to teach you that. Because, give me Ezekiel 37 and 10. This is what they're scared of us doing. They're scared of us coming together on one accord. Alright? Because 
What other group of people do you know have to deal with black or white on white crime? Do white people deal with white on white crime? Do Chinese people deal with Chinese on Chinese crime? No. Africans don't even deal with self crime. Well, they do a little bit because they, they suffer from their own curses and curses of him. But all people are the only people that hate themselves. All right? Alright, the brothers bringing out some good history, right? So are you familiar with the Egyptians? I'll bring it. So kind of, sort of, all right. So the Egyptians, they were a mighty nation at one point, right? So the question is, are we, uh, is, do our descendants tie us back to Egypt in any type of way? So now that, that you learned your history, do our descendants tie back to Egypt? Nah, I'll praise that you know that. Now I'm finna give you That's something crazy. to lead off of what he just said according to our history, something we should be proud of. Give me Joshua oh, chapter great. 2, verse 9. So you know about Moses, I'm pretty sure he talks about that, how he got led out of Egypt. All right, so he's about to go into Ezekiel 37, what the other nations are scared of, right? Give me that. Give me Joshua chapter 2, verse 9. This is a harlot that was living in the land of Jericho, right? And we send out Israelite spies, right? And this is what she said. Read that. Joshua chapter 2 verse 9 uh -huh. and she said unto the men I know that the Lord has given you the land uh -huh. and that your terror is falling upon us and that your what? your terror is falling upon us what is terror? fear exactly read that verse again and she but said unto the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land. So she said, I already know that the Most High God has given you the land. Because she heard about what happened over in Egypt. All the nations knew that the Most High God was dealing with Israel. Nobody else at that time, right? Read on. And that your terror is falling upon us. Uh -huh. And that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. All the what? Inhabitants of the land faint because of you. All right, read on. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you. So everybody in the world, the uh, Chinese people, the Japanese, the Africans. Oh, of course the Africans, because it happened to them. Everybody in the world knew exactly what God did for the Israelites, bro. This is the stuff that they want us not to know. They don't want us to know that these are our ancestors in this book right here. We were the reigning class on earth. We were, nobody can mess with us because God fought for us, all right? You got to understand these other nations, they may laugh and smile with you, but at the end of the day, they're your enemies according to the Bible. Give me a first Samuel chapter uh, uh, 14 and 47. And then I'm going to go back to Ezekiel 37, just like he was about to bring out. Give me that. First Samuel chapter 14. Verses 46, 47, 47. Uh -huh. so Saul took the kingdom of Israel and fought against all his enemies. All of his who? All his enemies. All of his enemies. Now we're about to list some of those enemies. Read. On every side. Uh -huh. Against Moab and against the children of Ammon. So Moab is the so-called Chinese today. Ammon, Ammon is the so-called Japanese today. Read. And against Edom. Against Edom, that's the so-called white man today. Read. And against the king of Zobah. Read. And against the Philistines. Read. And wheresoever he turned himself, he vexed them. He did what? He vexed them. So our forefathers, they was bad. In war and battle, we used to, we used to smoke, smite all of the nations, right? And they know about that. They're, that's why they want to keep us in sin. Because as long as we in sin, the Most High God's not going to be for us. All right? Give me Hosea 5 and 15. Then give me Psalms 83. All right? I want you to understand that the Most High God in sin, he won't deal with us. But start keeping those commandments. In this captivity, you, you think it's something for us to get jobs, be teachers. You just wait till we start keeping the commandments. We're going to rule the earth. All right? Nobody ever told you this before, right? Hosea chapter 5. Verse 15, uh -huh. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their own fit. So right now, bro, God returns to his place. He said, you know what? I'm going to take a step back. Since y'all don't want to listen to me and keep my laws, I will go and return to my place. So he's chilling right now. Till when? Until they acknowledge their own fit. Till they acknowledge their fit. Until we repent. Read and seek my faith. Do what? And seek my faith. If you can look on this campus, don't nobody care about this Bible. We up here reading out of a Bible, and these so-called Christians walk past us all day. You know, I don't care what this nigga's saying. They can't teach me nothing. But according to the Bible, they're the Israelites. They don't even know it. That's right. And this is our history, bro. 
You should want to know about this. Go to Psalms 83. Yeah. Just to show you that since we sinned, I'm going to show you those same enemies that we just got done reading about, they're reigning over us now. Give me Psalms 83, starting at verse 2. So, chapter 83, verse 2. Uh-huh. For lo, thine enemies. For thine enemies. All right, read. Make a tumult. A tumult is an agreement. Read. And they that hate thee. They that what? That hate thee. So according to the Bible, our enemies, the other nations, they hate us. Read. And have lifted up the head. So it's like, you know what, let's let's come together in one mind, one consent. Let's make a tumult and let's come together. And what did they come together to do? Read. They have taken crafty counsel. They've taken crafty counsel against thy people. Against God's people. Read. And consulted against thy hidden one. Thy hidden one. Because we're the people who are scattered across the nations. Read. They have said, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's why, bro, when you asked you earlier who you were, you had to identify yourself by American blacks because, read that part again. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Because you got, you got cut off from that. Now you say, oh, I'm a, I'm a Negro, I'm a black man. I'm a Judah, who is that? You know what I'm saying? Read. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Read that part again, that the name? That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. You've never heard that you're an Israelite. Why? Because it came true. Because our enemies did come together. Because we sinned against God and he allowed it to happen. Read. For they have consulted together with one consent. With one consent. They are confederate against thee. Now he's going to name those enemies. Let's see if they're familiar with Samuel. Read. The tabernacles of Edom. So-called white man, Edom. There he goes again. Read. And the Ishmaelites. Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabs today. Read. Of Moab. Moab, the Chinese. And the Hagarines. And the Hagarines. Read. Gabal. Gabal. And Ammon. The Japanese again. Read. And Amalek. And Amalek. Those are so-called fake Jews living in Israel today. That's who that is. All right? But, let's go elaborate on our history, right? Give me Jeremiah chapter 16 and 14. All of that's going to get flipped around. It's going to be some new history that's going to take place, bro. We had a great history at the, you know, with Egypt. Everybody knows us for that. But the most high God's going to do something great with that. Give me that. Jeremiah chapter 16, verses 14. Uh -huh. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth and brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So that's going to be old news, right? It's going to be old and irrelevant because something else is going to happen. But the Lord liveth and brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Out of the land of what? Of the north. North America. Of the north. Babylon the Great. The deliverer is going to, he's going to deliver us from our enemies again. Read. And from all the lands whether he had driven them. And all the lands that he driven us, North America, South America, Central America, Europe, Africa, Australia, we're everywhere. He's gonna come deliver us, bro. Read. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. We're going home to Israel, Zion. He's gonna bring us back into our land. So now you somebody so important while we're out here, bro. You know who you are. You got something proud of. We're not niggas. We're not spigs, uh, savages. No, we the Israelites. We the sons of God. That's right. We are the sons of the living God. And you have a choice to either repent and go with Christ to the Jerusalem or get up with two thirds. And brother, by the look in your eye, I don't think you want to be cut off, bro. All right? Because this is life or death, bro. Give me group one and four. Give me group four. Give me group four. Because this is love according to the Bible, bro. What's your name, bro? Jonathan, I'm at a dice, bro. In the way. Give me group. Oh, this is the apartment. Let me, let me show you. So 1611. Ah, man. Then you go to Walmart, all right? All right, this one, well, this is study habits for me. Okay, so go to take a note. In 16, okay, 1611. There's a 1611 King James Bible. The apartment, this right here, is smelled bad, and you go right after the book of Malachi. And I want you to do this, so don't believe anything we say up here, all right? Actually, give me that person. Give me Jeremiah 17. Because, brother, we 
We are speaking God's words, but don't ever get caught up in trusting the man. This man will always fail you. Always. All right? You trust in God's word. Listen to this. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. Uh -huh. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. That's not what I want. I want five. I'm sorry. Verse 5. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth oh in a man. All right, so cursed be the man that trusteth in man, right? So I never want you to believe what I'm saying or what this guy's saying or him, all right? What we want you to do is go to the scriptures and test it. He's like, you know what they said this? Let me go read up on this. Is this true? All right, so in 1611, there's a 1611 King James Bible. So literally, type that in Google. What you're going to see is that the Protestant church removed this part of the Bible out in the 1800s, all right? What you don't know is that the northern right. kingdom of Israel, which are the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans today, their history is in here. Also, the Grecian history in the Maccabees before the Romans took over. You ever notice in the New Testament, um, it's Roman captivity, they're the, they're the ruling power? How did that come to be? In the Maccabees, it goes, it's the conversion of the Greco-Roman Empire. All of that history, you ever heard of Hanukkah? All right, that's ours. That's the Feast of Dedication. You're going to read about the Feast of Dedication, a.k.a. Hanukkah, in the Maccabees. You're not going to find it except one place, and that's in the book of John in here. All right? But where were we? Baruch, for him. this is to my brother Ray. Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of the commandments of God. So this book, this Holy Bible, this is the book of the commandments of God. And the law that endure forever. So this is the book of the law. All they that keep it shall come to life. So if you, you keep God's commandments, man, and you do what he says do, you shall what? Keep shall come to life. You're going to come to life. Because right now, he was just, I'm about to lead it right back into Ezekiel 37. Because right now, look at our people. We don't know who we are. We don't have a sense of so. And we don't keep God's commandments. According to the Bible, you're dead. Spiritually dead, right? Finish like this. I mean, This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endure forever. All day that keep it. So everybody who keeps God's commandments and does the will of the Father, read, shall come to life. Gonna come to life. Because before you were literally just walking, you like, you know what? Let me listen to what they gotta say. Now you're like, damn, I never knew that. Like you probably feel different. But such as leave it live and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. And that's what we're building right now, one by one. Yeah, we might be small in number, but they say the Lord, it's got to come to pass. And you got to understand, two-thirds of our people, bro, they're going to die. And that's, that's the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Two-thirds have got to die. But here's the point. Read. Then he said unto me, uh -huh. son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Whole house of who? Of Israel. Of Israel, brother. These dead, these dead bones are the house of Israel. All right, give me that Matthew 26 so we can close it up. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.